Yes, this is like with Ben Brown. We have a terrible accident that happened um Thursday evening. Yes, Thursday evening. A place called Long Hill. When I was a little girl, I used to travel on that route when I was living with my cousin in Cambridge. And I always afraid when I reach at Long Hill because it's a very, very steep hill. Plus, it's a terrible precipice. I don't like to look over there when I used to travel there. As an old as I am, and I'm going to visit my sister and a family member, I am afraid to, when I'm coming back, when you're going up, you don't face it, the, the, the precipice. But when you're coming down, yeah, that's where the danger is. So my condolences to the family of the driver that lost his life and another person that I heard of died. To God be the glory, great things he had done that the bus went over that precipice, but only two persons so far I heard that died. All right, sorry that they have lost their life. Condolences to the family and friends and so on. And for those children, students and others who have um, get broken hands, feet and ribs, wherever they are in the hospital, I wish for you a speedy recovery, all right? And to the nurses and the doctors who are doing a great job, although they are tired, some do over shift, double shift, and so on. Sometimes you go there, you see the, the, the tiredness print out on their face and with less pain. Teachers, nurses, and doctors should get the most pay, right? MP and them person, they shouldn't they get more pay than doctors, teachers, and nurses, all right? And to all the porters and all that work at the hospital, man, nurses, you know, the ward, ward assistants and all of them, they are doing good jobs. You go there and you see oh, the amount of sick people are there. You have more sick than the amount of nurses and, you know, doctors and ward assistants and so on, but they still stand, stand tall and do their job. Well done. Well done to your nurses and doctors. They work tirelessly to help the sick and afflicted ones, the wounded. You know, sometimes they are there working emergency, emergency up and emergency up and emergency came rushing in accident, or gunshot people are stabbing or something occur, and you have to rush, 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 rush. Sometimes I'm saying, oh my God, from your same center, nurse, you are so tired. Doctor look tired and weary, but they are still doing their job. They are still helping the sick persons who come to them. Sometimes they, 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 they got their hand full. So we have to big them up, you know? Yeah, man, respect. God bless you all. You are doing a wonderful job there at the Colonel Regional Hospital. God bless you all, yeah, man. And... You see, sometimes we get up in the morning and we just rush out. We don't even pray. We don't even have time to say, thank you, Father, for another day. All right? So we must always, when we live in our house, we must always ask God to cover us. Cover us. Yeah. A driver came the other day and he stopped by down Braille here and he was telling me of his, his experience. He said he, 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 he never normally get up and pray, but that special morning he got up and a voice said to him, like, why are you not praying? And he kneeled down as he at, knelt down as he at his bedside and just start praying and ask God, cover me, Father, cover me. And I'm telling you that he was coming nicely, past our Adventist church coming down, and he says as he reached at the head of the hill, the foot of the hill, at, yeah, right hand top, not the foot at the head of the hill, there goes the brake failing, you know, and if bus, if the Noah bus start pick up speed, he come off and the hilly people them start to scream. But he remember that he asked God to cover him and by faith he did not panic. He did not jump out of the vehicle if the passenger to go and go on the precipice and die. You know what he did? He just, instead of coming straight down, he just can get the bus go crossway, crossway, crossway the road. Yeah up and bank in there and bank it there and that's what he, he does bank the bus there and everybody realize that the bus stop now then jump out nobody know that want to go back in the bus break show fail him no break but if in the panic the bus and everybody gone because one steep hill is coming down we call that hill niger hill and oh my god like he said if, you know who know they would have broke up 
So I think was sent to me. We, I feel as God to cover us. He said, God, anything that he will take it out right. That's what he said. He, he, he prayed the morning and said, Father God, anything in the way, take it away. So Satan have his plan for him, but he prayed. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, in, in uh, 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 um, uh, um, trouble his mind for him to pray that morning and he has that to cover him and anything in the way take it away and see that was in his in, in the way he could have died and all the passengers too so he was saying thank God God is good so it's good when we pray before we leave our house and beg God to cover us many people does and many don't sometimes we get up in a hurry rush 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 but we still can while we bathe him we can talk to God you know yeah man May to like, share, comment, condolences to everyone and all those who in the hospital from that accident Thursday evening with the children them coming from school. <laughs> Wish for your speedy recover. God, richest blessing be with you all. Love you guys. Peace out. Bev Brown said that. Remember to like, share, and for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please, I'm asking. I'm not even asking you guys. I'm begging you guys. Please, please, please. Subscribe for Bev Brown, alright? Peace out. Bev Brown said that.